Hello friends, in today's video we will see how to update your Linux machine using yum command. Yum stands for yellow dog updater modified. This is the command to update or install your packages. So it is generally used for package management. So let's see what is our current Linux version, kernel version. So Uname hyphen a command will show your host name, kernel version, and the second command is cat etc related release will show the release. This is a CentOS machine, and now let's use uname hyphen r command to see exact kernel version. Uname hyphen a also shows the same, but specifically if you want to see, you can use uname hyphen r. So we are using 3.10.0-693. Now let's test our repo. We will use yum repo list to list all our repo. My Linux machine is already connected to the internet, so my all repo are working. So it has listed all the packages with which it has. So this is CentOS base. This is extra package for Enterprise Linux 7 which I have installed. So now we will use yum update command to update our Linux machine. It will update all the packages and if there are any missing package it will install them too so here i am using yum update command i am not using hyphen y for yes because i want to show you if you want to automate your process you can directly give yum update hyphen i so it won't ask again for your response it will automatically take as yes so it is loading all the mirror which are close to me so after that once it has selected the mirror it will show me which packages are need to be installed which packages need to be updated so it is showing that five packages will be installed and 90 will be updated so total size is 163 mb so i will proceed by pressing y for yes so now it will download all the packages which is it is going to install and update okay so it is it will take some time if you want to skip you just skip one or two minutes and now if you can if you are waiting just see how it is downloading all the packages which are going to upgrade so basically it will also update our kernel version from where all the packages okay if you want to install your kernel separately if you don't want to upgrade all the packages you can do it manually also which i will show in later videos so basically it has now downloaded almost 80 packages just wait for a few more seconds total 150 mb has been downloaded till now so yeah so finally it is downloading final package so just to tell you update process your this process will involve four steps basically first is downloading the packages second is installing or updating third is cleanup and fourth is verification so it is not able to download one package so it is trying different mirror and asking for permission so i will say yes download from other mirror so now it has started updating this is our second phase of four step process so let's quickly fast forward and see it may take some time so i'm fast forwarding it have patience it will take some time because it is updating all the packages now i will take another terminal to show you the yum logs yum logs are basically in val log directory so it is also interview position where is yum log present so you can see val log 
and log file is well logium.log so it is showing which is packages it is updating so it is also one check to see if our machine is hung or it is working so uh, now it has stopped so since it is clean yeah it's cleaning up all the package so cleanup process has begun now once cleanup is over it will start verification yeah so verification process has started so now our machine is updated if you will now check our kernel version will be same okay red hat release will be same kernel will be same because we have not rebooted with the new kernel version and basically red hat release version generally will only change if there is a major update or upgrade okay so let's reboot and take the session i'm logging as root machine root user sorry so now let's check see the kernel version has changed it's now 3.10.0-693.21.1 so our kernel has been upgraded our packages have been upgraded let's check the older one and the new one older kernel was this 693 now newer one is 693.21.1 for verification process you can again check the yum log file and see what would package has been updated it's just for reference if you don't want to check don't need not to worry so these are all updated okay let's quit it and now the final check it's not the check but it's just command to see kernel update history rpm hyphen q hyphen hyphen last space kernel so it will show uh, the latest kernel will install in this state and the older kernel will install in this state it's a very good command so hope you guys like this video and if you do do not forget to subscribe to my channel because i will bring more such videos and in future i am also thinking to bring cloud videos from aws okay so do subscribe to my channel do let us know if you have any problem or feedback for me and keep watching and happy learning